Eating. More nervous than me. Take a sip. No, Ease I don't need to do nerves. No, doing it with you makes me nervous. Welcome to the first episode of Advice Time on Fun Pilot Podcast. Today, I have a special guest with me. As you can see, he's sitting right here. Khalif, you want to introduce yourself to the people? How y'all doing? I'm Khalif. Her man, 25 years. <laughs> I have a lot of pain and suffering. Oh. <laughs> well, when I moved into your parents' house, would you? I mean, we could start then and how mad my mom was. I don't know how mad she was. You do. She was, I think she was just, Upset. well, first of all, let me tell you about the move. The move wasn't anything that was discussed with my parents. I just kind of moved the human being on in because he needed a place to stay. And I, I just need thought. a place to stay. The house got raided. What the fuck are you talking about? It did, but I think I was the quickest, quickest and easiest move for you. Not that you didn't have anywhere else to go. Um, I think at that point in life, it was more along the lines of. I knew what I wanted and was trying to build the foundation. Um, and basically, as we all know, you must start somewhere. So that was the move of this human being. Oh, well, that was the point of the move. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was just easy access to No, nah, it wasn't easy. I don't give a fuck about that shit like that. So... I guess when you moved into the house, what else do you have to say about that? Um, I was comfortable. I felt wanted, happy. Um, there's more words, but I don't think I can describe them. And she's getting wet just listening to this. No, I'm not. <laughs> This is the most I've ever seen him actually calm and talking and doesn't seem um, like I'm going to bite his uh, his ear off. You are right now, but anyway. Because <laughs> you did that to me. Oh, well, that's know. good. This is the first I'm hearing of it because I thought the real reason why he moved yeah. in was because he wanted sex. We could talk about the time her mom called us, though. Oh, yes, we can definitely talk about that. We'll save that for another episode about the time she did catch us. Whew. When your mom catches, and you know, our kids are right at that age. What them. would you do if they, I don't think they caught us. Would I say they probably heard us? But they seen yeah, us when that. they, well, With the in all due respect, our kids have seen us. I know you're probably going to think we're the most worst parents in the world, but it doesn't matter what y'all think. Okay. Anyway, you know how many people in this world got caught by their kids? I know, <laughs> but they were really small and they didn't know what they were watching. Remember the one time we saw Pop Up just yeah. sitting yeah. at the edge of the bed? It was a movie. He was watching a movie. He was not watching a movie. He was watching Shit. us. It was a movie. <laughs> And he just kind of looked. I don't think he understood what was going on because like we were kind of discreet one, about one, it. He was like one and a half. He was like two and a half. Like I mean, that's what most people do compare their relationships, right? I think we all have done it at some point do in I time. Don't compare my shit. Not like in a bad you way, babe. We but we, you've never kind of look at somebody's relationship like, what the fuck they doing? No, we? I don't care about it. Really? No, nope. do not. I swear I don't. I literally don't. You can't compare your relationship if you know your wrongs. I think, but I've compared a lot of things, not just my relationship. Sometimes I've even compared like where I am in life. I sometimes might get mad at myself and compare myself to someone else and said, um, if I had maybe put more focus, I would have been a lot further. Yeah, you take it out on me, but it's cool. I'm not doing the same. Do I, do I take it out on you? Yeah. What do I take out on you? Am I moody? Yes. I am moody at times. And he sees probably Everything. the most switch of my mood. But I think I, I'm not moody. I'm just very, I have a very dominant personality. But you wouldn't say that when I was younger, though. Nah, Would you, you need you, to be your old self again. Shit. Nah. No. Yeah. But wait. Look, look take, take, take what you have right now in life. You need to, you're going to figure out this 25 years. Well, hold on. <laughs> They're listening shit. now. They're talk realizing about, why it's been 25 some, years. We're going to talk some real shit now. <laughs> right? So look, you take where you at are now, right? Mentally. Right? 
you take how much growth you done had and just bring the sweetheart back. She's a fucking devil on them out. I need to fix my hair too. Camera got me fucked up. <laughs> but yeah, just take where you are at now and just tranquil the sweetheart back in it. She's, I'm not going to say she's the devil because she's still a sweetheart. It's a lot of shit I don't put her through. She's still a sweetheart. Long story short. It's my baby. Hate her, but I love her more than I hate her. And on top of that, she always... Good one. Here you go. Shirley always looks... Not always. But Shirley always... Gotta say always, I guess. Takes in the bad more than she takes in the good. And when she takes in the bad more than the good, you see that dark side of her. Where me personally, I'm just a simple going individual and really just don't give a fuck about shit. And I think that's where it falls in the play of her ranting on at times. I don't think I rant. I mean, to feed off what he says, uh, what he is saying. Am I more attitudish now than I was when we first met? Fuck yeah. Yes, I will agree with him with that. But that follows with so much trauma. That plays, trauma plays a role. And I do realize that my childhood also, and I didn't realize this until now, plays a big role between childhood trauma and adult trauma. I think that's where all the extra spice comes into play. When we first met... There was no relationship trauma. There was no boundaries. There's no, there was no guidelines. And that's why I try to say I don't want to get fucking married because people, when they get married, they see things as an obligation between a piece of paper. And we've survived 25 years of not being married through trials, trips, tribulations, and everything else. And we're still fucking here. You can get a person that's been married for, they've been, I'll, I'll give you a better one. They was in a relationship for two years. They proposed in two and a half. Got married in three years. Next thing you know, the motherfuckers is divorced on the fifth fucking year. Sometimes not even that. Because they never got to know each other the way they needed to know each other. You feel me? The best thing is, it's a, uh, it's a, it was a little meme or something back in the day where two, uh, a, a man and a woman had been together for 50 years or something like that, and he finally proposed to her. You know what I mean? You got to know your partner. I know you, but I don't know you well enough. Because there's always triggers. There's always something new. You know what I mean? You must examine your surroundings as well as possible. It's like I have flaws, you have flaws, we all have flaws. But it's all about working around the flaws to figure out that there's a better person behind the flaw. Mm -hmm. 